Hello and welcome back to the Vital Blend YouTube channel. I'm Anthony Vita. I want to talk about an article that came out about LeBron James recently and his new low carb diet, which has caused him to lose a considerable amount of weight. LeBron James, of course, is a professional basketball player for Cleveland, looking to have a more successful upcoming season. This is him now after having lost the weight, and this was him last season. And you can definitely tell that he's dropped a lot of mass after having a uh, carb cutting summer and dropped a significant amount of weight. So what's going on here? What's up with this low carb diet? And why do I think he's going to be in a lot of trouble if he doesn't get the carbs back in? Well, first, we have to understand why we eat. We eat for energy and we get energy from either one of three places, proteins, carbs or fats. Our body doesn't do a very good job at converting protein to energy, and we only try to convert fat to energy when we don't have our primary fuel source, which are carbs. And when we eat foods like potatoes and rice and oats and beans, our body breaks these down into simple sugars, which then fuel our cells. Our cells run on sugar or glucose. And when we don't have this, our body thinks that we're starving, that there's no food around. So then it starts pulling from fats and sugar that's already stored in our cells. So LeBron James's diet is pulling more from protein than it is from carbs. And this is really explained nicely in this article by Dr. John McDougall about high protein diets. And Dr. John McDougall has been a medical doctor for the past uh, 40 plus years talks about how weight loss is rapid in its early stages. It's mostly water loss rather than fat loss. Of course, LeBron James doesn't have a lot of fat on him and uh, also pulls from the glycogen stores that are in his muscles. And this is going to cause him to lose energy, which he does not need. You can just ask the Kenyan runners. I mean, look at these guys. They're in great shape and they win. They win. Kenyan, do Kenyan runners dominate road races, and they have for quite a long period of time. And this great article talks about what they eat. Now, are they paleo, or are they cutting out the carbs? No. As a matter of fact, they're doing quite the opposite. Most of their nutrients come from vegetable sources and the staple foods like bread, rice, potatoes, uh, porridge, cabbage, beans, and ugali, which is basically a uh, corn-based meal. So they're pulling most of their calories from carbs. Now, how much do they get from protein, which is where LeBron James is currently eating? Well, it does talk about that. First of all, their meat intake is only about four times a week and about three and a half ounces when they do. And about three ounces looks like uh, the size of a deck of playing cards. So it's not that much at all. And it even breaks it down further by looking at their calories. You know, 86% of their daily calories come from vegetable sources, 14% from animal foods, and as you may expect, extremely rich in carbohydrates. 76.5% of their daily calories come from carbs. And the reason is because they were stocking their leg muscles with glycogen, which is exactly what they need to win and to also train the way that they do. And now it's no secret in this article here about LeBron James and his buddy Dwayne Wade, who are also on the paleo diet. This article even goes on to say that athletes who are looking for ways to gain a competitive advantage rather than just fit into their genes, meaning win, they have to tweak the paleo program, adding in some of the starchy carbs to fuel their grueling workouts on and off season. So LeBron James, Get your carbs back in, buddy. You will need them to win this upcoming season. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Uh, put your comments and questions down below. I've got the links down there, too. Uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos here on the Vital Blend YouTube channel. I'm Anthony Vita.